Mark chapter 2 verse 16 records a moment when the scribes and Pharisees saw Jesus eating with tax collectors and sinners. They asked his disciples, How is it that he eats and drinks with tax collectors and sinners? This question was not born out of genuine curiosity, but out of a heart hardened by self-righteousness and legalism. The Pharisees, blinded by their religious pride, could not fathom how someone claiming to be righteous would associate with those they deemed unworthy. The Pharisees saw themselves as the guardians of holiness, yet their understanding of holiness was perverted. They believed that by separating themselves from sinners, they could maintain their purity. However, Jesus, who is the embodiment of true holiness, demonstrated that real purity does not come from avoiding sinners, but from engaging with them to bring about transformation. The irony is profound. Those who prided themselves on their righteousness were, in fact, the ones most distant from the heart of God. Jesus' actions here are a direct confrontation of the Pharisees' hypocrisy. He did not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance, as stated later in Mark chapter 2, verse 17. His mission was to seek and save that which was lost, a truth echoed in Luke chapter 19, verse 10. The Pharisees' question reveals their failure to understand the very nature of God's grace. They had forgotten, or perhaps never understood, that all humanity stands condemned before God, Romans chapter 3, verse 23 and it is only by His grace that any are saved. This encounter should provoke us to examine our own hearts. How often do we, like the Pharisees, look down on those we deem less righteous than ourselves? Do we find ourselves questioning God's mercy when it is extended to those we think are undeserving? If so, we have missed the very essence of the gospel. The gospel is not for the self-righteous, but for the humble, the broken, and the contrite in spirit. Isaiah chapter 57 verse 15. It is for those who recognize their need for a Savior. In this verse, Jesus reveals the scandalous nature of grace. Grace is not neat and tidy. It does not conform to our expectations or our religious traditions. It reaches into the filth and mire of human sin and pulls us out, not because we deserve it, but because God is merciful. This truth is further illustrated in the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector in Luke chapter 18 verses 9 through 14, where the one who humbles himself and acknowledges his sin is justified, while the one who exalts himself is condemned. Mark chapter 2 verse 16 is a stark reminder that self-righteousness is a deadly trap. It blinds us to our own need for grace and leads us to judge others harshly. The Pharisees thought they were defending God's honor by questioning Jesus' actions. But in reality, they were opposing the very heart of God. They failed to see that Jesus' willingness to eat with sinners was not a compromise of His holiness, but a fulfillment of His mission. Let this verse be a call to humble ourselves before God, to recognize that we too are in desperate need of His grace. Let it remind us that no one is beyond the reach of God's mercy, and let it challenge us to extend that same grace to others. We must ask ourselves, are we like the Pharisees, standing in judgment, or are we following in the footsteps of our Savior, reaching out to those who need His saving grace?